guys, welcome back to the laundry mat. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you and let you know what in the hell do you do with a little area rug or a bathroom uh, little area rug, uh, bath mat. What do you do with those? How do you wash them? Well, the first thing you want to do is you do not want to use your washers at home. Um, especially if they're really heavy because your washing machine will tumble correctly and then your uh, rug is going to be coming out soaking wet and it won't spin out correctly. So you want to go to a laundromat and you want to use one that is a commercial grade washer. Um, and those are usually Hibiscus, Dexter, and Continental. Um, and it's not going to be the high energy machine. Okay. You want to use something that doesn't say HE on it. You want to use a regular commercial washing machine. The next thing that you want to do is you want to fit it inside the washing machine. Generally speaking, this rug that I have here is can fit in the 18 pound of the smallest washer we have. But what you want to do is when you put it in the washing machine is you want to make sure that it has plenty of room to tumble, to move around. And for the most part, and that's all you have to do, you just put it in the washing machine. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This is going to fit in this washing machine. I've washed this rug several times. Okay. So if you see here, it's got plenty of room. It's not even half, it's probably half full. That's what you want to look for when you're putting a rug in a washing machine, okay? Now those big, huge area rugs that you have, like in your living room, you probably could bring it to a laundromat and do it yourself, but you're going to need something that says 60 pounder washing machine on it, okay? Um, and how I'm going to be able to show you is if you're using, and it has a Speed Queen washing machine, you're going to see little baskets on this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each one of these baskets here represents 10 pounds. This washing machine right here holds 60 pounds worth of laundry. You could put a, a fairly decent sized area rug in that washing machine, okay? The ideal situation is you do not want heat on these rugs, especially if you want them to last. Especially the ones that have that backing on them, you don't want those to go in the dryer at all. So the best thing that you wanna do is when you're done washing them, take them home and you need to air dry them out. Ideally, if you have access to outside, put on your patio. Outside, um, lay it over a clean uh, chair outside. Um, and if not, if you can, just hang it over your shower and it should dry. And, and if you need to dry, dry a little faster, put a oscillating fan in there in the bathroom. Um, one of the other things that you need to keep in mind is the amount of soap as well. A lot of people use too much soap at the laundromat, so you need to, um, you know, use a proper amount of soap. Because if you have too much soap, it can cause it to not uh, rinse out correctly. And then your, your rug is going to have soap residue on it. And if you have animals that lay on it or if you sit down on it, it can irritate your skin. So you need to make sure you're using the right amount of soap. And how you'll know that is the machine, you should barely see any bubbles in the washing machine. Okay, like for instance, this one right here. You are seeing uh, that is just water bubbles. Those, that's, per that's fine, this is perfect. If you see lots of white, <laughs> fluffy white, it's too much, too much soap. And you're going to cause it, you could have skin allergies from that. Um, so ideally, I would recommend that you do that. So what you want to remember is choose, a tri choose the right washing machine. Use cold or cool water. Do not use the dryer. Air dry it. And please... If you're going to a laundromat that has someone working there, an attendant, and you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask them. That is their job. That is why they are there. And if they don't have the answer, they will find out for you. So um, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a little bit of information. Um, next time I'll be talking probably about comforters, what to do with comforters at a laundromat. And I will also do a video on how to um, fold a fitted sheet. Uh, so stay tuned. I will show you two different ways on that. So like, subscribe, hit your notification button, and have a great afternoon.